As we've seen throughout this inquiry, Le Mans has been a technological laboratory for over 90 years. But what are the consequences for the everyday motorist's car? Sebastian, in this vehicle, we have the proof that all the testing done in racing applies to the general public's car. The car is a hybrid which uses the system we have in the racing car, but is a bit smaller as the aim of the Prius is fuel consumption reduction. With the race car, it's performance that counts. Let's try it. Okay. It's funny, I didn't even know it was running. Our hybrid engineers mainly come from the, our production divisions and these people are regularly changing. This means that every day we found in this factory, it's bring back to the production department. So it's every day. You must realize that racing and production are closely linked. From time to time, we see parts from production used on the race car. And in turn, the race cars develop parts that will be used on series production cars that are on sale. In short, you've got the LEDs, the light from the LEDs, which we've developed. Today, it's the laser. The whole philosophy of vehicle development is very similar between racing and the cars on sale. So, we really feel we're developing all that. For example, we can take them to the limit when we're doing the 24-hour races. As we reach very high speeds, we have to have reliable cars it's really great for us, as in a few years we can say, look at that, I contributed to developing that. So it's very interesting for us to work in racing. It's our passion. But knowing that everything we do in racing is adapted to the everyday motorist car is really very exciting. Do you see anything from your prototype on this car? Exactly. I mean, Porsche started a new era in motorsport already in 2010. When they, when they started the, the project with the Porsche 911 GT3R hybrid. I was also a part of this, of this project. And, um, so, and it was the first time that uh, you implement the hybrid technology into a race car. And Porsche learned a lot to this. And I think all this knowledge was, uh, was used you know, to prepare uh, the 919 uh, hybrid project. And uh, so in the end, uh, I think it's very nice that you see that some of the, some of the things that you learn from motorsport are also applying onto road cars and here we have the new Panamera hybrid so I think this is a nice thing to see and to learn but it's also a great chance for motorsport to be more efficient and to, to force new technology also into the, the road cars. Okay I think we've understood so the Le Mans 24 hours is much more than just a race right Pierre? Yes, indeed. Thanks to these new regulations that have relaunched the interest of the manufacturers and constructors and the accessory suppliers, because the hybrid systems that improve the efficiency of engines can be applied to the everyday motor car. So, by helping technology transfer, the Le Mans 24 Hours has gone back to its original vocation. Exactly. When motor racing is the testbed for the future of the industry. Okay, I've got it. You know what? I'd love to do the Le Mans 24 Hours. But before getting into a race car, Fred, uh, we're going to have a drive in the safety car. Really? Let's go. How strange. I don't think he trusts me. <laughs> <laughs>